Hey everybody, welcome back. Last week I made my own DIY homemade yakitori grill and this week we're gonna figure out how to use it. All right, so a real quick bit of housekeeping here. At the end of this video, I've got an announcement about the future of this channel. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out what that's all about. All right, so tomorrow we're having people over for a yakitori party. So today I need to head over to the farmer's market and pick up supplies, and then I need to start prepping my side dishes. Let's go. <laughs> with this haul and it's time to get making some side dishes. Today I'm gonna to make a wasabi potato salad topped with a smoked and sous vide pork belly. And then I'm also gonna serve a Japanese side dish called cucumber sinonimo. Okay, quick little note. In order for this video to not just be super long, I'm actually gonna post a separate video with the details of how to make these side dishes. And I'll put that up online on Saturday. So if you're watching this video after that, you'll be able to click a link above or in the description below. Okay, let's do a time lapse. All right, so it's the next day and all I have to do is butcher up the chicken and make two different types of skewers. I'm gonna make sukune, which is like a Japanese meatball with seasonings. And then I'm also going to make some negama, which will be chicken thigh meat with scallions uh, interspersed on the skewers as well. So let's get it. Okay, so as you can see, those meatballs were not sticking to the skewers. That was a total failure. And I tried to fix the error by adding egg to it, thinking, you know, like that works in hamburgers, maybe they'll help bind this up. But I made it even soupier and made it stick to the skewers even less. So I didn't end up getting to serve the Sukune meatballs along with the rest of the yakitori at our yakitori party. So I'm gonna just stir fry that up and serve it over rice later. With every big project, you're gonna have hiccups along the way. So that was the first one. And the second one was that it took forever to grill the food over that charcoal. And I think there's two reasons why. Number one, it's the type of charcoal I was using. It's not gonna be exactly like binchotan. It costs way less and it's not the same thing. And the second thing is actually a flaw with my grill design. 
This grill had just that thin sheet metal from the drywall mud pan in there. And so all the heat was able to dissipate out right away through that and nothing really locked that heat into the grill in order to help keep the charcoal super hot. So I think the charcoal just cooled down way too quickly. And so like our first couple skewers, they cooked up faster, but everything else, it was taking like 10 minutes to cook. And really it should only take about five minutes to cook yakitori. What we did end up getting cooked tasted delicious, and I'm going to do some modifications to my grill in order to try this again, because ultimately everything did taste super awesome, and it was fun being able to sit there and grill at the table inside. That was a blast. Okay, so here's the bit about the future of this channel. I'm actually gonna be switching my upload day to Saturdays. So from now on, I'm gonna post on Saturday mornings and not Wednesdays anymore. I think it's gonna be better for most of my viewers and where they live and what they're doing and during the week on Wednesdays, most of you are at work and it's gonna be better for me in my own schedule. So watch out this Saturday, I'm gonna post my first Saturday video and that will be the side dishes that I did not feature in this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who keep tuning in every week. You're awesome. And it's been cool to see some of you try to make some of this stuff. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like. And if you have any thoughts or suggestions for me, go ahead and leave me a comment and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you Saturday. Cheers.